Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode number 35 of the Same Brain Podcast. Get really hyped. And then roll that intro. Yes, do both. Hey Jen, what's going on? Not much. Happy today. Today's Saturday. It's not Saturday when we're recording this, but it's Saturday for you potentially when you're listening to it. Very true. We're actually recording this on April Fool's Day, April 1st, today the day. I hate this day. I think it's dumb. You know, because here's the thing, like I trust you until you are a liar to me. And then I'm like, no. What's funny is I almost tweeted today that I have such low or no trust in anything. So like days like today, I'm like, I've been preparing for this my whole life. That's true. Um, Tyler uh, today actually got us really, really good because so Tyler, like not that you're not indecisive, but there are times where I feel like you can be, especially when it comes to like products or like choosing a thing like buying one iphone and then deciding i wanted a different color yeah and then deciding i wanted a whole different size iphone and yeah returning like three iphones in under a month yeah yeah like that or like you know, changing like your your instagram handle well, you know not knowing what camera but it's fine you just you know totally fine you want to find what you like until you know they're on the journey to yeah. find it mm-hmm. so, so today tyler texts the group and he's like, Hey guys, I just want to let you know that I think that I might be switching to premiere. It might affect our workflow a little bit. And I was like, oh, like I hope God. you can under, understand. I, w- I was like, man, I've been dreading this day that Tyler's like, I think we should start using premiere. I was like, well, he's lying. But at first I also gasped because I was like, oh. which nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with premiere, but like, we're so freaking fast at this point well, on final cut. I'm yeah. like, why would you do that? Well, yeah, like the workflow. Well, anyway, so you got us. You, you didn't get me. Cause I, yeah, yeah, I feel no like trust. It, immediately Jenna texted back, like, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Something I, like that. <laughs> I was in the middle of like doing a call also have ingesting way too much caffeine. So I was already like freaking out this morning, yeah, like setting were... Jenna capital letters. I was like, uh, you're being weird. I it was, was like, why are you being weird? weird, man? I don't know. What's going like, on? The anxiety that just went boop. I had yeah. a lot going on today. It was basically back to back to back things. And I got a haircut today. Look at this. It does look nice. It's very short. She said that we have been for about five or six years only cutting like a half inch off. Yeah. Today we did like like two and a half inches and it's a little darker. Looks great. If you're watching or if you're listening, you can go see this new hair on uh, youtube.com slash same brain. And you're going to probably be like, wow, it looks exactly the same as it did in the last episode. We can't really tell. Well, guess what? I can tell. Okay. And you're going to be like, wow, just seeing you're shiny. And I'm going to say, yeah, actually I am. It's because I just washed my face. So this is clean. So she's clean, shine. shiny, not dirty, shiny. But what we're going to talk about today first is we're going to read the reviews. Yes, because we are. everyone, not everyone, some of you have been leaving nice reviews. Maybe they were mean reviews. The point is there are reviews to be read. So oh. here we go. This is from Apple Podcasts. It says, check you out. Ooh, absolutely love every time a new podcast is out. I literally wait because you ladies crack me up. How was the mock E? Oh, it's incredible. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's fast. Oh, I fast. really, I really want to get an electric vehicle just because it's just it feels better. It feels better to drive. Obviously, it's better for the planet. Um, but also like, very quiet, so nice. super quiet, yeah, nice, fast. stealthy. Mm-hmm. You know how many times I've almost been hit by like a Prius? A lot. Now it's Teslas. Now it's Machis. Now it's Chevy Bolts. Like you definitely should look both ways because it's quiet. They sneak up on you. Yeah, it's real quiet these days with those EVs. Oof. Anyway, best podcast ever. Hi, Justine and Jenna. I love listening to your podcast when I am walking my dog who loves seeing Maddie on the TV or doing my homework. Keep up the good work. The only thing I would change is posting more, but I get that you have a lot of other things. So just glad you have a podcast we can listen and watch. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you guys are getting one a week most of the time is honestly a freaking miracle. Today almost didn't happen. It almost didn't. I texted, I was like, hey, bad news. Not bad news, but news. We have to film a podcast today. I couldn't believe, when you said it was time to do another one, I about fell off my chair. I texted, so I have access to your calendar and I go, whoa, looks like you have a (laughs) busy day today. Meanwhile, I'm like sitting on the floor eating pretzels in my jammies. I was like, we gotta do a podcast today, but you look super busy. Uh, Yeah, and I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna fit in a freaking podcast? Because this time that we're shooting this right now was gonna be some time that I was gonna edit. Oh, I have a couple like Mac rumor videos that I shot like really quickly just at my desk. And I was like, oh, that'll be fun. I can have some content for the weekend because yeah. we're, we're going on a small little trip. It's like a belated birthday weekend. Oh, I didn't get you a gift. You've got me so much okay, stuff. I didn't know if no. this was a celebration. Like oh my I'm not God. prepared. No, this is, we're, we're going okay. to San Diego, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. I'm um, going to fly some drones, going to do some some. Here's the eating problem. It's a holiday running. weekend. Oh. It's right. fine. We're going to have fun. I just 
I'm so wow. holidays. There are, okay, so me and Tyler went to Santa Monica the other day because we were filming a bike video, which we can talk about the Como Turbo SL. Nice. 5.0 is an incredible electric bike by Specialized. Not sponsored, but we went to Santa Monica driving around. Crowded. Oh my God. We went to <gasps> Manhattan Beach. Panicking. Crowded. I go, Tyler, we gotta get out. Yeah, it was, I mean. We almost got hit. By another biker. So crowded. Dude, that's why I don't, I do not enjoy summer. I enjoy summer in Los Angeles, but not when I like leave my house. No, it smelled rotten down there. Like It was actually, once we got down to the beach, it was okay. But like the whole like intersection and like the, the entrance ways down, like all the paths that like get you in and out of the beach. Yeah. So congested. Uh-huh. <gasps> sweaty. It's super sweaty. And like and drugs. A lot of drugs. And it's rats. It's just, it's sad too, because it's, it's the homeless population sort of in the city has grown exponentially. And it is very, very sad to see because it's just like, I, it's just, it's really yeah, sad. It, it's, just, it's just also sad because it's like people, I don't know. There's just this, people really think of LA as this really glorious place. And I'm like, the, there are parks that are beautiful. And like, Malibu, uh, Malibu is lovely. Santa Monica has really just gone downhill. It has. Well, I think it's because of like regulations, because a lot of these places like Orange County or different places like the palace, it's like they basically like you, you can't, you can't camp there. Like there's just regulations that need to be in place. There also needs to be better. We've talked about this so many times. Health, healthcare, yeah. mental health. I just like, don't. come on. It's just dirty. And not even that, there's just like trash everywhere. I'm like, this is just gross. Trash, trash just polluted and it's just ick, it, icky sticky especially in the summer super sticky anyway do you have reviews on anchor yeah messages dude if you guys want to leave us voicemail messages you can this one's from soren hey jenna hey justine uh just wanted to tell you that i love your podcast it's really amazing and i hear it every morning when i drive to work and just want to say thank you because it's really great thank you greens from germany <gasps> germany we love germany we do love germany Tungstela. Tungstela. I was trying to think. Um, oh, gosh. Um, okay, we have oh, shoot. One. How do you say meerkat? Erdmenschen. 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 It's something along those lines. I'm so those sorry, lines. Germany. I'm not good at anything. How do you say meerkat in German? Erdmenschen. Erdmenschen? Siri's. I'm telling you. I'm faster no. than I'm faster than Siri. Why are you so slow? I'm fast. Oh, my God. We're still here. When I saw a meerkat pee like a dog in the Austria zoo, I went, oh, here we are. Here we get ready for this. Get the leggy lifted. Erdmännchen. Oh. Erdmännchen. That's not right. <laughs> Erdmännchen. 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 It's close enough. I am a dumb American. We Next did see them the review. Uh, yeah. yep. Hello, I need your help. Every time I go on my Chromebook laptop and it doesn't work, so I need your help, so can fix it. If you don't know my name, I can write it for you. Yeah, you can help me if you want. Bye. <laughs> I, oh, wait, wait, what's, uh, the, what's the question? I, I think the Chromebook is broken. No, the Chromebook is broken. Oh, oh it hit God. my face. That's oh, devastating. That's, it is so devastating. How do we fix a Chromebook? Uh, I don't know. They didn't tell us the problem. You didn't the tell us. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, I need your help. Every time I go on my Chromebook laptop and it doesn't work, so I need your help. So okay, you okay, can fix it. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't. Every, every time. It so doesn't every work. time it doesn't. So when they go to, to their Chromebook, it doesn't work. <laughs> Chromebook laptop doesn't work. So that's a problem. It is. So it's a problem because it should work. Have you tried turning it off and then turning it on again? Have you tried plugging it in? Sometimes that. <laughs> Sometimes it needs power. So we're, we're laughing because it's the first time someone has used a review to like try to get technical support on a product. Yeah, it's so which good, is brilliant, it's, it's genius. So smart. It threw What's me off. Kid? What was that kid's name? They, they said no they're not going to tell me their name. They said they're going to write it. Oh, okay. they're going to write it. Well, whoever that, is, yeah. that kid is, props, dude. Uh, smart. I would just say for future, let us know a little bit more about yeah. the problem. Um, you know, like is it is it turning on? Like, is it not turning on? No, Jenna, it's not working. So it's not working at all? No, it's not working at all. Yeah, leave another review for next week. Follow up. Yeah, yeah. follow up. Give us some more details. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah like, let us know, it, like, what, yeah. like when it, was the last time yeah. it worked? Was there water damage? There could be water damage, something that happens. Are you oh, sure you're shoot. using the right and proper charger? Have you dropped it? Really, anything it's, There's a lot. Here. There, honestly, you should probably just return it. It's probably um, school 
Just tell the school to give you another one. So today we're recording this on April 1st, which marks the 45th anniversary of Apple, Jenna. And if you didn't know, Apple was co-founded by Steve Jobs, yeah. Steve Wozniak, yeah. and Ronald Wayne on April 1st, 1976. And Wayne, oh, no, that's actually proper. Sold 10% of his shares of the company back to Jobs and Wozniak just 12 days later to avoid financial risk. Uh, How much did that That would be in? worth more than 200 billion today. 200. That's too much money. Nobody wants $200 billion. I do. $200 billion. <laughs> oh God. How much is Bezos worth? Whatever his name is. Do you know that I once met him? We've talked about this before. I asked him what his favorite snack was. Oh yeah. That's cool. He's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Net yeah worth. He could buy a lot of snacks with that. He's money. almost worth, he's worth $180 billion. Uh, Ronald. Burr. I, um, I remember once I decided. How much did his divorce cost? It was a lot, but oops. Um, I remember once I couldn't afford to pay my rent, but I had like $8 in my bank account. So yeah. Starbucks. I mean, I don't know if it's the best. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get a white chocolate mocha. Extra shot of espresso. Okay, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it that way. Don't just get a coffee because their coffee is oh, absolute no. trash. No, Fill it with sugar, the sweets, the powder. Get the good. Get I, the whipped cream. Actually, it's free. I usually do the no whip, but yeah, it is free. Well, I think I might have overdrawn my account from the. Uh, so I got that. You didn't shot. take into taxes. No, I didn't. It's fine, and I would usually get like the large one too. Oh God, I just it's. <laughs> I'm not proud. That's okay. One time, um, I in college, I did a sleep study because they I was like, I need some money. So I did a sleep study. That's fine. I once, when I needed a new computer, I would, oh God, this was also, I think maybe in college, I uh, I looked into selling my eggs. And then I, I, I looked up the process. I was like, oh God, I, that, I'll just not have a computer. Ooh. So I went into graphic design and I started doing freelance and that seemed to pay the bills. So yeah, that worked. Is, but I just thought like, dude. you know, harvesting your body eggs would be something yeah, that was easy. No. It's not. And absolutely you gotta do like not. hormone injections. Well, yeah. And then they go in and actually like scrape them out. It's disgusting, I don't and like it. And then wouldn't there be your little, like. Yeah, those would be my, my babes out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something you don't consider when you're literally, well, I still wasn't paying my rent <laughs> when I needed a computer. What, where have we gone with this conversation? I don't know. Um, how did we egg get scraping. here? We got to, I mean, it is almost Easter. Speaking of egg scraping, one of our favorite pastimes when we were little was egg hunts. I love egg hunts. <laughs> it's so fun. It, we used to, I mean, we would still do them. This You're saying when we were children, adults. but yeah, no, we so, were doing it like a so, year ago. You know, over the past 30 some years, we've really enjoyed egg hunts and we haven't done it in a couple of years because we haven't been able to go home. But our niece is now what, like a year and a half? And she's like, this is like prime egg time, right? Or she could be uh, doing her little egg hunts or not, not? She could be, I mean, she's waddling around. She's got pretty good stability. I was also thinking um, like, no, I'm not even gonna say it. It's really just not, I don't even, I can't even say it. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, well, I'm gonna anyway. i my water. I want, this was the fun game before I'm, we started. I, before, I don't wanna cut you off, but I wanted to play a fun game before we started the podcast. Do you know what the fun game is? How much water you can drink during yes. the podcast. Yes, oh my God. How did you know? I mean, that's fine, but we're not doing it. No pee breaks. This is like on no. our road trip to Tahoe. I said, you get two pee breaks. That's it. I And that was generous because it was only seven and a half hours. And that's why I was dehydrated and I passed out on my run the day before. <laughs> that is absolutely no, not 100%. my fault. No, 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 no. You had like 12 hours where you could have been sip, sip, sipping. Dude, you pee, you just pee so much. It's just really- Well, insane. when you drink freaking like your body weight in water, it happens. So the egg hunt. So this is this yeah. Easter- um is oh my god it's this weekend is this weekend <gasps> should we hide some eggs um maybe in san diego maybe san diego maybe we'll do a little egg hunt or we tried to do them with maddie a couple years ago it didn't go so well but it was just really fun we we did like the thousand dollar egg hunt and i think brianne got mad at us because like maybe we didn't actually give her the thousand no, dollars when she won it was clickbait i was like Brie, this is clickbait learn how youtube works here's twenty dollars i think we ended up giving her like a hundred maybe yeah probably yeah i love a good clickbait um i have some more information here Oh, I really, okay, maybe I don't. I was working on a document and I really didn't you get stopped. very far. Uh, Periscope officially shuts down. I didn't know it was still a thing. Yeah, so Twitter bought Periscope. I was like, 
couple of years ago, actually. It was a while ago. So that's officially shut Didn't down. Didn't Twitter um, buy Vine? Are they just killing they things? Did. Well, you know, they, the thing was like a lot of these companies like shutting down or acquiring other companies is you're kind of like acquiring that talent and yeah. basically also maybe investing in the future of that platform. But Periscope did pretty well though. It did. It, I mean, they've, it's been a part of Twitter for a while. True. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more sad. like we're investing in this company, either taking the talent and then basically ends up just like folding. It's interesting. Or taking I wonder, that tech and then folding it into their company. Yeah. Or maybe they're going to be doing something else. They're like, Cool. We have Periscope. We're gonna we're gonna do something else. Do you think that they can hear me drinking? <laughs> Jeez, I heard that for sure. I one hundred percent heard that. I think I had my nose. <laughs> um. Okay. So there's already iPhone 13 Pro Max rumors happening. Um. This leak. They, oh God, do you remember when there was like the copper colored iPhone that was rumored? Didn't it look it like so when you pee and you're dehydrated? Basically, it was disgusting. And then it turns out that the, the actual one that they revealed was, was beautiful. It's a nice color. Um, but yeah, they're back to like this bronzy copper color kind of thing. That I they're... don't like it. All right. Well, you heard it here, I guess, first. Jenna likes it. Here's the thing. I took my case off my phone the other day expecting to see a white, what do they call it? I guess silver. The white phone. You and didn't... I no. was like, this is, I don't have that color phone. That was your last phone. I didn't know. So now I have a clear case on, so I'm reminded. Hmm. Yeah, yeah no I have idea. a white phone. I like you do? It. Yeah, you want to see what it looks like? In case you thought that this was your phone? No, I've seen mm. it. I wonder what, speaking of indecisive phone choices, which Tyler, one did Tyler get? What do you got? I got whatever the space gray. Oh. Yeah. Dark, yeah. The, the dark one, yeah. Didn't the you have blue? One. You did have blue. I first, I bought the blue Max. Pro Max. Mm. Then I traded it for the space gray pro max <laughs> and then I, re- I realized i didn't want to have that big of a phone anymore so then i traded that for the space gray pro that's incredible and i also kind of i recall you maybe saying not too long ago that you wished that you had the max again didn't you say that because you wanted the camera um i think I, I was taking a photo with your phone yeah and i was like oh that 2.5x it's is, cool. is really nice yeah it's pretty nice but i really i don't i actually don't miss it like, I don't find myself thinking about it that much. I'm, now, now you are. I'm considering switching to the smaller one because I have I, a small blue one. It's a great size. It's like perfect. the mini mini? No, I wish I had the mini. No, just the pro right. regular size. The regular there's pro. also a huge scratch in this. And like uh, I can feel it when I oh swipe. Oh, no, I should have put a case on. Didn't I put one on for you? No, you I got, it no big scratch. I've never oh, had it. Oh, no. It's okay. So the new rumors for the iPhone 13, I, I didn't, I, how long has this phone been out? Like six months? I mean, it just came out. I know. Oh. Um. So there's also potentially a new iPhone SE with 5G, which is nice. I just hope that they, I mean, I don't think they're going to. I want to be able to have an imprint imprint of an in-screen fingerprint reader that would be nice like come on like let's come on put they it, have to or they freaking have to do put it. it on the the power button you did it with the ipad you got the tech you, you gotta did. do it dude do, they don't have to they do not have to do anything they, they don't, don't have to do. do but that would be nice to have an in under the screen um yeah because like i mean um, i love face id but i'm still gonna wear a mask even you know post vax yeah yeah half well you, yeah because you can still half vaxxed you can still Do you want to tell them about your conversation that you had this weekend? So I went to an event. Oh, the McLaren. Yes. We talked about it the last episode with the McLaren. We did. So it was really cool. So we we had the McLaren for the weekend and we went to the F1 drive-in LA at the Grove, which was really cool. We were invited there and only, I think maybe like 70 cars, 70, 75 cars. And we got to actually drive through the Grove in Los Angeles, which is like this outdoor shopping center, like a high-end shopping center. High-end shopping it's center. It's high-end. It is high-end, it's, yeah. You know, yeah, there's a Nordstrom. I love the theater there. Yeah, it's a nice, nice theater. theater. Cheesecake Factory. Premium. Mm. Oh, just a really, really high-end place. And we got to drive through it, which Where like the, doesn't tr- happen. Mm-mm, no, because there's a trolley that goes through there. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So then we went into the parking garage and it was on the top of the parking garage and they had a really cool um, like outdoor screen and we just like watched the race and there are people there and I haven't really spoken to people in a very long time, like in person. It was terrifying. Anyway, I, it's something. So one of our friends came up and- I don't know, they weren't my friends. No, so a, a friend of mine and like I went to give him a hug 
And he's like, it's cool, I'm vaccinated. And then I was like, oh, I just got my first shot. And then Jenna- I just like awkwardly went, I'm half vaxxed. I'm and half I was like- vaxed. It's like super awkward. Like, like I've never spoken to a person before. Like yeah. the real introvert in me was like, oh, I'm half vaxxed. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm, I just introduced myself as half vaxxed. And then I was like kind of into it. I'm like half vaxxed. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm half vaxxed. I was like, okay, well that's, um, that's me on being awkward. I was um, laughing at the side effects of um, getting your first, first shot. I is, didn't read the is paper. Is becoming a vax hole. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> You instantly like feel superior to those who do not have the vax. It's so stupid. You instantly stupid. want to start talking to everybody about your shot. I mean, hey, do you, what do you, did you get Moderna? Did you get Pfizer? Did you get? It's, it's like so, some, it's, it's so silly. But yeah. the thing about the vaccine is like, you can still get COVID and yep. I could still give you COVID. The thing is, is like the more people who are vaccinated, obviously the less stress it's going to be on like the healthcare, the hospitals, we're not, you know, like, so I get it. And but also like, less stress to your body because it's supposed to- No, 100%, like, it's going to, you know- uh, Decrease whatever, symptoms. yes. Yeah, so therefore you're not as sick and you're not going to be going to the hospital. But the thing is, is if everyone, you know, if you're not vaccinated, like someone else can still get sick. So it's like me, half vaxxed, you know, I'm, I feel fine, but I'm also still gonna do everything the same because I don't want to potentially get someone else sick. And the, it's important in this time frame yeah. that you don't get it because if you do get it, you're not gonna be able to get your second dose. Really? Yeah, so you oh. could not get, so basically having the first shot means nothing. I, except yeah. you're on. It's like Jenna's this false on sense way. of security, but oh, I'm also like, yeah. it really only affects like I'm only protect, it's like a very selfish thing. I'm like, cool, but I, it doesn't really change anything for how I'm gonna, you know, live my life. So I don't know. It's just, it's like, oh, I'm vaccinated. It's like, okay, whatever. It's just <laughs> such a weird thing because I've been overhearing a ton of conversations. Actually, we're in Santa Monica. Do yeah. you remember those two girls that were like talking about? She's like, oh my God, well, yeah. like, well, like April's, she's like not vaccinated yet. So like, we can't go hang out with her yet. Oh my God, which one did you get? It's oh my so God, I got Moderna. Oh yeah, I had this conversation oh. with this lady walking her dog yesterday. Cause I always ask people, well, first off this dog, like just, it was, uh, it was, uh, what was Gilroy. Gilroy? Gilroy is just the cutest dog on the block. Anyway, Gilroy, like Maddie and Gilroy were playing and Gilroy, they were like dropped the leashes and Gilroy like jumped on me. So like I naturally like went to pet and I was like, oh, sorry. Like I should have asked you if it's okay to pet. And she's like, oh yeah, I don't care. I mean, if I cared, I wouldn't have let my dog leave like loose. And then I, I was like, yeah, I, I'm half vaxxed. And she goes, me too. And then we oh. had this like awkward, which it has nothing to do with me touching your dog. No. It was just like this awkward thing I keep saying because I don't know how to talk to people. And then we were talking, she's like, oh, I have Pfizer. I was like, oh, I've got Moderna. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Is it, how do you say it? Moderna? Moder what am I saying? Moderna? 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 I have no Freaking idea. Freaking don't know, dude, but I got it in my body. I, I watched a TikTok and someone was like, oh, you got the one that sounds like murder. And I'm like, oh God, Moderna? 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 I don't know. Moderna? I, Moderna? How do you say it? Moderna. I don't even know. Tyler, I tell them tell them how you feel about pronunciations. Oh, they don't matter. It doesn't matter, he says. Uh, uh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I, I just think that <laughs> you know everyone can say words how they want to, and the people like if a company is like, oh, you're supposed to say our name this way. It's like, dude, you spelled it that way. Yeah. People are gonna say it. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't worry about it. When people are like, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I messed up your name. I'm like, I don't even care what you what you call me. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. Every time I ask you, I'm like, am I saying it right? You're like, oh, I don't care. I'm like, no, Tyler, it matters because this <laughs> yeah, is a brand deal. Yeah. <laughs> like, tell me what you think. Yeah, then like, you have to do awkward VO. If they don't send you a yeah. audio recording and like be like, this is how you have to say it. Then That's it's like, fair. Yeah, come but on, like, you, oh, so many of these names are weird. It's like, how do you expect everybody to, you know? Moderna. Well, and then everyone's pronouncing Moderna. things differently. And with names, like with people. Moderna. Oh, nice. Well, Moderna, that's how I say it. Moderna. Okay, I definitely hit the dare. Yeah. Dur. I think Dur. With, with people and their names, like if your name is like Brienne, but people always call you Brienne yeah. or something like I that. I don't know. That's our sister's name. Yeah, that's. I think that's why I popped in my head. Like if your name is Brienne, <laughs> but people are always say Brienne and it like annoys you, then yeah. for sure, like let people uh, know. I feel like let them know. You yeah. got to let them know. Moderna. Let them know, but like, I'm, you know. Yeah. I mean, Dur. They, they've been calling me Justin. Dur. I was like, why wouldn't they spell it that way? It's spelled like, uh, I guess it's kind of spelled. Yeah, I, I guess don't so. know. I've been saying it wrong. Now I'm going to be terrified. I'm not, I'm just not going to say anything. Uh, Moderna. I got the one that starts with an M. Um, yeah, I got, um, uh, oh yeah. So you got Moderna. Oh my when God, are we going to so become cool. zombies? I'm oh excited. When are we going to become lizard people? Lizard people! <laughs> <laughs> I had a protein 
protein bar right before this. And I feel so freaking good, And I had, an, I had an accidental nap. I fell asleep on my computer. I was working and I was like, oh my God. Yesterday I, ha- I had like a bunch of Zoom calls, like back to back. Well, actually they weren't even Zoom calls. You know what drives me crazy is when you have a Zoom call that goes into a Google Hangout, that goes into a Cisco WebEx, and then that then goes into a Teams, and then the freaking Uber X call, like back to back. Uber X? Just- oh yeah. Uber, like the car? No, it's another no, uh, web service. No, no, absolutely not. And then I took a nap and then um, and then I had more calls. That's the end of my story. <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> terrible. I have Moderna. I'm still stuck on lizard people. <laughs> um, Is that a thing? Yeah, oh yes. Are you familiar with lizard people, David Icke? Are we about to start talking about like QAnon right now? You um, <laughs> Is that happening I don't on know. this podcast? Is it- Probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> what happened? It's happening! She's turning into a lizard person! I'm t- oh, It's happening I'm live! T- Transform! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and this is how we got one star reviews. <laughs> you know, if you're listening, I'm terribly sorry because I realized that this is. Oh my God, little little Bobby on his way to school listening to the podcast yeah, with his mom. His mom's like, you mom. need to turn this off. They are going to mom. brainwash Mother, you. Mother, I'm, I'm speaking to you right now. I just want you to know that I'm probably your age and I could probably have three children that are like probably the age of Bobby. No more kids for you. You got the Pfizer shot. <gasps> Wait, what so, does that mean? No, I don't know. Does that, oh, doesn't one of them supposedly like alter your DNA? I have oh, no God. idea. For Yeah. We <clears throat> shouldn't be, we are spreading false information. We don't know anything. We are anything. No, we don't I know anything. I am a lizard now though. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't scheduled mine yet, but um, I'm going to. Do you? Do you want us to come with you? No. Okay. We can. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but now that now that you have the vaccine, um, so are you five G? Yes. Oh God, no, not fast. we're only half G. We're, yeah, no. two point so five. Yeah, two point five. Two point five G. Yeah, but it's already revive. faster. It's already faster. Oh and it's been God. really great because like now that the government is also tracking me, like I keep getting lost and I just like call them up. I'm like, hey, can you tell me where <laughs> I am? <laughs> uh, another warning. This has all been false information. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my hip. Oh. God. Yes. If you have been listening to anything we've said, we are not scientists. Well, I, no, we're not well, scientists. We're, we're not, not doctors. We are, are just idiots. We are just. Um, I. Am I believe in science. I believe in science. I. I believe in a thing called love. I also. I, love I just. I want to like do stuff again and like travel. <clears throat> so if it takes one. Well, did you have to do <clears throat> into the microphone? <clears throat> I was. Uh, I think I was like doing that so that I could speak again. No. <laughs> Wow, rude. <laughs> Stop it. No, don't don't keep doing it. <laughs> How long are we gonna be speaking to each other? Get that cap off there. Um oh we have postmates coming very shortly. Isn't that exciting? It is, but my hip popped very badly where I'm scared that I might have to get a replacement. Oh, speaking of injuries, I feel like every podcast now? I have an injury. I pulled a hamstring very, very badly because I had this really cool like move that I wanted to do with my lightsaber oh, yes. trick. And since I can't do an aerial, I was trying to sort of mimic. You can't? I can't. Can you? Yeah. Everybody can know. Oh I my can, God. I can barely walk up the stairs. My hip just cracked. Sorry. You're- after No, after I get my second shot, like I'm definitely gonna be able to do an aerial because yes. I'll be like, you know, cruising. But anyway, yeah, I was just like trying to do this thing where I like pass the lightsaber under my leg and then like the other hand catches it and then it throws up and then, and then I throw up and then, and oh. then it's a thing. Anyway, I pulled my freaking hamstring. Okay. Is it not better? No. Well, I've been stretching it. It's getting there. I I've have still just, been, I like, have running plantar through the fasciitis pain. in my foot. Oh my God. Me and too. And it's been hurting very badly. It hurts. So it's a terrible. Speaking of, do you have like an extra sport wrap? Like a, like a wrap? You know how, like when we were athletes and you wrap your ankles, I have so. Do many. you have any? I need. You know I need one because last night I was walking around my house. I was like, oh, back in the day, I used to be an athlete and have these all over, and I needed to ice my foot, and I didn't have one. You know what so I have? I John. have an ice pack. What I did was I took sweatpants and I used my sweatpants to tie it real tightly around my foot. You know what I have for you? I have a whole foot ice thing that's in the freezer because when I sprained my ankle, I was like prepped. I will be taking that. I will show you uh, the way that uh, my trainer showed me how to to wrap my foot for the the plantar flexor temperature. It hurts. It hurts so bad. I almost cried. Like every time I stand up, it hurts so bad. Where I'm like, 
I ordered some of the Hoka shoes that oh, you have the, been speaking so of about. Because of whenever I sprayed my ankle and I was running in very the poor stabilization shoes for running. So I asked you guys on Twitter what I should get and you guys all told me Hoka. And I was like, I've never even heard of this brand before. So the Hoka 1-1 Clifton 17, 13. There's a specific kind? Yes. Oh, oh shucks. no, let's let me see. Chep, let me check my Zappos. Well, I, I actually, ordered them because I, oh, shoot. I also just ordered another pair. Oh, oh no. I got the wrong ones. You may have. Well, check those ones out. Let me see, What's the? what does it say next to it? The, oh. oh, Jenna got the Hoka 1-1 one, one, Gavi, Gaviota 3. Mm, what does that say? Gaviota 3? Yeah, that's what it says. So this is the, these are the ones that I like. The Clifton 1, or the Hoka 1-1 one, one Clifton 7. I have made them. Well, they look, well, the good thing about Zappos is you're allowed free returns. But I like this little thing because they got this cool little tag in the back. That is cool. Maybe they'll work for you. So I ordered it's these really ones by accident. These are the Ew. Clifton Edge. No, I, well, I wanted a pair because I have ones Ew. that I only use indoors. Yeah, I need so to I do that. So I wanted ones that I don't wear outside. So these ones I tried, the Clifton Edge, but they have like a really, they, they have an edge around them. Well, that, that, that's in the title. I know. Yeah, I need to get indoor shoes because now that I have like my indoor tread, my indoor, you know, indoor workout, I'm, it's, there's just, you know, you don't want to be getting the outdoor slime. Did you see all of the new things that the Tempo Studio yeah. has announced? Okay, we need to take a look it's at a this. It's a lot. So the Tempo Studio is basically like a, how would you describe it? So it's like a cabinet with a television in it, but it also houses all of the weights in the front and then it puts the the bars and stuff, like the dumbbell like that you actually attach the weights on in the back. And so also has a camera. Yes. So like when you're doing the moves. It's not a camera, it's oh, a 3D it's sensor. sensor. It's like the, with the one that was in the- Basically um, like the Kinect. In the, like the Xbox Kinect, yeah. yeah. So it's a sensor. So it'll tell you if you're, you know, doing the, if you're like bending your um, like legs or your back or something. If you're like arching your back too much, it'll tell you. And it's really, really cool. So I've been using that Finally, but they just came out with these new oh my accessories. Gosh. They've got new stuff. So they've got like a bench, they've got a squat rack, they have new um, bigger weights. They also have a kettlebell system. And oh they also, boy. I think they had something else too. Oh, they got like um, those little bands. Oh yeah, nice. Like the like resistance, the resistance bands. bands. Yeah, and it's great because everything folds up so nice. I I'm love gonna it. To, I'm gonna have to get rid of my couch. You probably, yeah, you definitely need to get rid of your couch. I don't want to. Okay, so whenever I got, oh, I got the new uplift desk. And <gasps> I, it? good, I wanna make a video about it, but I've been lazy. Um, so I put my other desk on my outdoor patio. So now I'm actually kind of into this because I don't care about the outdoor desk at all. Like it might get ruined by the weather. It was very, very cheap and it's like broken. But I, yeah. took, I, I took my little laptop out there in the morning Oh. And I had an outdoor desk. That sounds nice, a little outdoor sit. It was really, really nice. But the uplift desk is so nice. It's like my absolute favorite. And it's really cool because it obviously is like a standing desk. So I've been like standing a lot more, but I also put it all the way up. And then when Maddie comes down with his toy, we play underneath it with his oh. toys. Cause it makes more space. That's beautiful. I know. I was like, this is fun and practical mm -hmm. for my health of working, but also I can go under the desk and play with the dog and I have more space. And it was actually pretty cool. And that's my story. That's, that's a bad story. I'm drinking. Oh, I'll take a little sip. Mm -hmm. Will she finish the water before the podcast is over? Stop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She will. And I also brought another one just in case. I got a really- For me? No, this is for me. I'm thirsty. I'm uh, thirsty. Um, yeah, so Tempo Studio, super cool. Um, what, what I've started, Tyler, what's what's going on? Anything? We went to Best Buy today. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Fun. I bought a, yeah, yeah. I bought a case for my yeah. AirPods. Yeah, that sounds fun, actually. Oh, I love Best Buy so much. I lost my AirPods. It's funny because we were filming something out in the front, and like as I walked by, it was like the smell of air conditioning and technology yeah. like wafted out, and I was like, oh, it smells so good. It has there. a smell. It Best, does smell. Best Buy has a smell. And it's like that distinct, like I got so hyped. Like I was like, oh, well, we gotta go in. Did it smell like, I feel like the kitchen appliances are what have the smell. No, I mean, maybe. No, maybe. I it's don't just know. like maybe a, some mystical combination of the products that they normally carry has this like totally recognizable scent. It's just do like you think like it's that, not bad. Do you think maybe they spray something like, you know how Abercrombie Oh my gosh, well, you could it? buy it. What like if Best Buy? I would wear it. You could I buy it. I would wear it. 
That's it behind just, the can. It just smells like tech. Like when it's you so open nice. when you open up a box of something, it's like a new piece of tech. It's like that's what it smells like. Oh, I love I love Best Buy. They have everything. They really do. Curbside <sighs> pickup has been incredible. I mean, that was really great because it's like we basically was picking things up within an hour. Quick. Like over the holidays. That is quick. I know. Oh. Anyway, um, I got, big I got sigh. tired. I've expelled so much energy when I transformed into a lizard. Dude, yeah, <laughs> you know, you're, the sun's going down, so it's sleepy lizard time. Mm-hmm. I don't actually know how lizards work. Well, are they endotherms or mm-hmm. ectotherms? What type of therm are they? Um, let me see. This is really important information. Oh, I should know this. You, well, They're ectotherms. Okay. They use behavioral adaptations to control their temperature. They regulate their behavior based on the temperature outside. If it's warm, they will go outside to a point and return to their burrow as necessary. Oh. Lizard. Ectotherm. Yeah, to know. it says there's no fully endothermic reptiles. Hmm. 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 There are partially endothermic reptiles. Which ones? They're not very good at it, but they can regenerate a little heat. <laughs> <laughs> which, which ones? Look. Honestly, I just clicked something on Google and it doesn't seem. Do oh. lizards have eggs? They do, right? Wait, don't they? Yeah, I feel like. I would assume. Yeah, because. Oh my God, yeah. how cute would that be? What if you start popping out eggs and it's your lizard and like little lizards. Come. Well, I tried to sell them. This would be so much easier. I just pop them right out. It is strange to think about how like <laughs> the human body <laughs> If I, as a person, decided I, well, I mean, maybe, I don't really know, but like I could potentially grow a human. That is terrifying to me. Nothing in my body is motherly where I'm like, oh, I'm disgusted by the thought of it. I can't imagine. Would it be well, like, would it be like, what if you like pop out of eggs? Like, yeah, that would be out. as bad. Like, you know what you're getting into. There's not a shoulder that's gonna, I don't wanna talk about this because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very nice, but I just can't. I can't fathom it happening. Like an egg seems so smooth, but like imagine, <laughs> imagine like a le- like a leg coming out of you and just like kicking your guts all around. Ah! I just want to say to to all of the women out there who have had babies, I give you so much credit. You are much better than me as a person because I am terrified. It's really something. It's I mean, incredible if you think about it. Like, it is it's it's a, it's a miracle. Like it really is it's crazy just, what your body goes through. After we never posted our sister's podcast version where we talked about her birth, not her birth, but the birth of her child. And I was like, this is how I know I don't want children because I, I'm i not signing up for that. We're gonna have to redo the podcast. I lost the audio. Well, well hopefully we What can- if we dub it? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is that sounds like too much work. Dude, shout out to the women out there who have had babies and multiple babies. I mean, Jenna says she's not motherly, but she's very motherly to Maddie. He's a little doggy. He's so sweet and fluffy. I just don't like children. It's fine. It's total preference. I mean, I'm not having children either. So, you know. Yeah, I just, I don't, I know. And I know why I don't like children because I'm selfish. Like I want to take a nap in the middle of the day. I want to (sighs) travel. I want to live my life. And I just, I'm not ready for that child commitment. And I, you know, I think about those shoulders and that sounds terrifying to me. Oh, oh, I bet that hurt you. Oh, it hurt so bad. I finished my water, by the way. And I just threw it up oh, in the there, air. You know what? I and it hurt Jenna. Yeah, I You're going to be bruised. I think it broke a blood vessel. Although adoption sounds nice. Because I think the actual act of, a, of it coming out of me is what terrifies me. I know yeah. this isn't what we're talking about. I'm no, all for I'm, adoption. I'm always so happy to see like some of my friends who have you know either had trouble having kids or they have resorted to adoption just to be able to like see that process. Yeah. But it's very, it is a very strenuous process that, that you have to go through. It is, which makes me, it's, I mean, I understand because it's like you are going to be responsible for another human life, but just yeah. seeing, you know, all these children that need homes and like the process being expensive and very so time expensive. consuming. Yeah. But it makes sense because, you know, you, you don't, I mean, these are other lives. Like they could end up somewhere terrible if you don't do yeah. the do the proper protocols. And um, there's a word. There's a um, word. I have hurt myself. I'm so sorry if I have offended anyone during this podcast because I feel like I've probably offended so. I probably <laughs> offended more people while uh, talking about lizard people because I'm look, sure I'm bruising. Oh my god, I hurt Jenna. I'm bruising. I have hurt her. <laughs> so, do you think that? Um, so what is like my new life gonna be? Oh, speaking of, I asked people on Twitter what we should talk about. And they said, how have you gone so long without getting canceled? And this might be the episode that just really puts us over the edge. So like, will I, do you think I'm gonna get scales? Do you think like, am I gonna, 
I mean, I am always cold. You better get back in your burrow then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on set. I'll be like, mm, sorry, it's my burrow time. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, oh my God. Someone tweeted me a picture of their bunny with a crown on. And that is that. very sweet. Wait, I was somewhere. Oh, in your so, burrow? No, I was, okay. I was out of my burrow. We were in Manhattan beach because we were driving the McLaren around. Yes. And let me tell you what. I just want to say to any car person, like I, I, like I've not that I like, I just, I didn't get it. Okay. Like people and their cars and being like, wow, look at me. I'm driving fast. I never understood. And now I do. And everything is I different. See. I see. Like I, I freaking get it. Like when I see people on the highway, like going, I'm like, oh, I scoff. Now, you're, now those you. And now I scoff at myself because I'm not doing that. I never really look at like cars. I don't either. Like everyone was waving to us. Oh my God, we had just made so many friends. Although I will say, yeah, they were doing like the. We did get a peace sign because we passed another McLaren on the on the highway. That, that was cool. I see this one um, person driving around in the, it's like the Bentley SUV. Oh, oh no, 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 Rolls Royce. Oh. Uh, Rolls Royce, obviously pronunciation isn't my thing, Rolls Royce. Royce and it is. Is it an SUV? Yes. Let's see. It, I think it starts, at, I want to say it's probably starts at like 350,000. I could be lying. Everything I'm saying today is a lie, mm. but it is so nice. It has this like cool, like orange interior and this like gray exterior. Oh. And it's, I'm like, wow. It looks like starting at 330,000. Oh, okay. I said 350. Well, so, I think the one that we were driving was like 250, 275. You were in a Rolls Royce? No, the McLaren that we were driving around. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, and that's just too much money. And it's for like a, a car. lot of times, like these cars, like people, like they don't really buy them to drive them. Like I would want to be driving this thing all the time, well, cruising I, up and down. But then once you like void your warranty, or then like, I think it was, did you say something like after you- I think for with insurance. Ferrari, like insurance, if you go over a certain amount of miles, it's then even yeah, more money. Or you're, yeah, you have to pay, like it's the insurance is so much money. And I don't, I don't know. It's just like, I don't, <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, I, I want to I mean, just drive over things and hit yeah, bumps. And honestly, like, mm. all I want is a Raptor and an electric vehicle. Like yeah, I do. That is what I want. I mean, oh God, I mean, of course I'll take a McLaren, but I'm, I mean, I don't have $275,000. Oh, I decided sorry. to buy it. I want the Hummer EV. Okay. It's, okay, it's massive. Well, I don't know if it's massive. It looks big, but it's cool. It looks so cool. So there's like different versions that, yeah. the, I missed the pre-order for the first one. <clears throat> um, I think it started at like 99,000. And then the next version is like for, I think fall 2022. I think we can sign up for okay, that. You'd probably be ready for a car then, yeah? Yeah, but I was ready now because oh. it said fall 2021, but I think my lease is up in spring of 2022. So I I just really, really like the Hummer EV, but I'm hoping maybe we can get like a little sneak peek test drive with it. I'm kind of thinking about that 2022 Raptor R. Raptor, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, Ford nice. V8 Raptor. Mm. Oh, that was a That's sound. gonna be me mm, driving. <laughs> Mm. Oh God, the sound of that McLaren that it made when it was starting up. Pretty nice. Oh, um, we were, Maddie and I were walking today and someone, it sounded exactly like that. And he like turned his little head because I think he heard it so many times from the garage. He was like, oh, it's like, what was that sound? It's Is that incredible. my mom? It was so great. I honestly had like the best weekend. Like it's, it's pretty been cool. a while since like, I mean, I'm, I feel so jaded sometimes because we cover so much tech all the yeah. time that it takes a lot of like, I don't know, just something like super impressive to like really be like, wow, I'm super impressed. Well, I was also super something impressed. new. Something new, because I don't yeah. really, I mean, I, I cover car stuff, but it's mostly like EVs and things like that. And like I never interface really, and. Yeah, and I never, for some reason, was never like, I think I like cars. Well, guess what? I like cars now, I guys. Just, I just want to go fast. Jenna just wants to go fast, like Sonic. I want to go fast. I, go fast. I decided that I'm going to go to racing school. No, well, I'm going to be with you as well. Okay, well, uh, we have to, our for Alex, we have to go with Alex too, because he's been asking me for years. And I was like, I'm busy, but I'm not. I'm going to text him right now. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to text him right now. And. Tell him to say hi. Do you want to go to racing school? Alex. Do you want to go fast? Oh, uh, mm. You, um, you want to go meet like moderate speed. Maybe. I'm going to make a video for Alex. I okay. have. Okay, so this is gonna be the video that we're gonna make for him. Should we just call him? Maybe he'll answer? Uh, no. Should we, do you think maybe? I don't know, this is a video. Um, hi, Alex, we wanna go racing and we're on our podcast right now and we were talking about you, so hi. Okay. 
Oh, there's t- oh Tyler's over there too. Where's he Hi. At? This podcast is. is really all over the place today. Hey, um, Alex. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I might look a little different next time you see me because I'll be a lizard. Do you think he's gonna? <laughs> he's not gonna be surprised at all by anything that we said. No, I don't think he will be. That's the good thing about having friends who are also kind of weird. Like if you do weird stuff, it's like they're just like they don't acknowledge it's weird. They're just like cool yeah yeah you're gonna be a lizard they'll be like okay maybe i'll get you some type of you know scale brush <laughs> like they just kind of go with the flow they're like oh okay oh do you like he me- would probably get like a little bowl for his house if you came over for I your know. Little- <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably give me some sawdust to burrow into <laughs> and then when his friends would come over they're like what's that oh that's just seen sawdust from which he was over to burrow <laughs> he would do it yeah <laughs> He oh, really would. Geez. I mean, Alex, he came over, he FaceTimed my lettuce when I, over the holidays because I, I just started my lettuce <laughs> patch. And yeah. I was like, oh, God, I got a notification that said that my lettuce needed food. He and also I, put it in that one box that was like 200 pounds. Oh, my gosh, yes. The, uh, it wasn't 200 pounds. It was, it was heavy. heavy. It was the uh, Nordic rower. Yeah. I said, Alex, uh, sorry, I'm so there's a rower that just was uh, delivered to my house. Can you go put it into my garage? So funny. Okay. Uh, do you think Alex will want to be on our podcast one day? He's down for whatever. I know it's cool. I had, okay, I don't, mm, well, I could probably tell my idea because I don't know how many people would be able to really fulfill this. Uh, I'm just, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. So here's what, Justine, I decided that I'm gonna get into making like videos of, cause just doing dumb stuff. Like oh. with the McLaren and the Xbox fridge, I was like, that's dumb and like, that's unique. Oh. So I had, I think it was Ben Q, they reached out, they're like, hey, we have a, 4K, 120 inch gaming projector. That's big, mm. gaming projector. I was like, I'm interested. Mm-hmm. And then I know that Alex has that couch that he turned into a motorized couch, which he takes oh, yeah. on the street. So then I was thinking, I was like, okay, what could be like a cool video? I'm like, how about this? I take your power bank, I take an Xbox, I take this projector, I ride around, find a spot on the side of a building. I then make a gaming station where I one v one strangers on the street while having in while having plugged in my Xbox mini fridge as well. Here you go. It's a lot. Are you gonna make the strangers get COVID tests? So here's the thing: the strangers might be our friends. They might okay. be like Alex's friends, like Seth okay, and yeah, like yeah, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. But oh, like Kyle, this was, friend, Kyle's this is my gonna friend be now. like like a picture that is like a Facebook video. You're like, what's this person doing? Like mm-hmm. blah blah blah. So I'm gonna get into making like Facebook content like that. And that's my only one idea. No, that's good. I think, you, so you should go with that. That's my one idea. Because how many people have a motorized couch, a 120 inch gaming projector, a mini Xbox fridge? And, also, and Yeti this. portable generator, not gas powered. What are we gonna play, Mortal Kombat? Oh my God, I don't know. Hey, Jenna. Yeah, you hate Do you it? want me to edit that out so no one steals your cool idea? But how many people have that? Uh-huh is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's very unique situation. And how many people are you? No one. Like, do they have a motorized couch? Do they have an Xbox fridge? Do they have a gaming projector? No. And no. do they have those no. things? No. no. Somebody. So might. that's why, I mean, if you have it, then you beat me to it. Yep. Send me the link. <laughs> <laughs> Just freaking send it to me. And then I'll be like, this was a good idea. I and then you could um, do a cease and desist because you, I think we have the proof of the video was your idea and it's copywritten now. Yeah. On April 1st, 2021, mm-hmm. 20, 2021, 45 years after April, April, 45 years after Apple was founded, the idea was mine. Jenna. And then somebody else swooped in and took it. I mean, if they do, it's fine. It's a good idea. Yeah, man. And I'll do it again. And I'll be like, God, I'll do I, it better. Am I a lizard yet? Okay. I thought you were gonna say am I a loser? And I was like, well. <laughs> Um, our postmate is taking longer than expected, which is fine because we're still speaking. Uh, you think they're doing funny business? I don't know. I ordered garlic bread. If there's no, if there's not two orders of garlic bread in that basket, we will riot. I will throw a fit. Honestly, you probably won't do anything because like you don't this. like confrontation. Because <laughs> you know why? You don't like. Con- I'm you're a lizard. lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it, what's what's the one in Mortal Kombat with like the 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 spit? Uh, scorpion. 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 I'm Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This is so great, guys. I'm actually really excited about my my mobile gaming on the Dude. side of a wall. We're gonna get arrested. We're gonna be one v oneing strangers that are friends. I'll be like, Yo, you want to one v one Mortal Kombat? 
You want a drink from my mini fridge that's plugged in? It's going to be great. Okay, but you're not even going to want to 1v1 me because like, well, you're basically you only 1v1 in okay. Mortal Kombat. And then so, what if wait. you, what if I transform live? Yeah, live. We'll do it live. I don't, I, this is the weirdest podcast we've had. <laughs> <laughs> That's really saying a lot too. <laughs> I know, I know. Like this is definitely yeah. <laughs> the weirdest, and I don't know why. Because like I don't even have PMS. I do. I'm not. I'm t- absolutely furious. I'm not tired. It's it's probably because I'm transforming into a lizard. You wait. I was. Are you trying to be me? No. Wait. We Bless. both got the shot, so we both are transforming. I just really am excited that the government can now tell me where I am when I'm lost. Really, because they couldn't do that anyway with our phones and dragging everything and all of the spy technology that's out there. They're gonna steal my idea. They probably are. I forgot what I was gonna tell you. There was something that I was gonna say. My, no, I won't say that. I've already probably offended so many people. No, yeah, let's not not offend. I would like to discuss more about like, so if both of us turn into lizards, what happens? Do we shrink or do we stay the same size? I don't know. I haven't really done enough research on the conspiracy. I remember in biology reading about some type of, I don't know if it was an iguana, mm. but they were able to do asexual reproduction. And I just think that that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want children. Yeah, but if it's coming out in the egg form, oh, once again, right. I'm not opposed. Soft, real smooth. And like, if you don't have to rely on another, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I really sometimes, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, um, and then it's getting all of my genetics. That's true. So it's like, wow, this is cool. Perfection. I feel like we don't have very good genetics as far as like, as far as like muscle tissue, connective issues. Like I, like my mom was always like, man, you guys, when you get 30, when you get after 30, it all starts going downhill. No, you're wrong, mom. You're right. I feel like a, I feel yeah, like a piece of trash. But if I have turned into a lizard and then I'm capable of asexual reproduction, they're gonna want more of that to study. <laughs> it's true. Well, they're probably already <laughs> studying it because it's already happening around us because apparently the no. lizard people are walking among us already. Look, they're already here, Jenna. While we're talking about weird stuff, this might be a little too weird. Oh God, maybe you shouldn't say it. Maybe I'll consult first with the group. I Are we I've consulting? I recently learned about, um, I don't know if we can talk about it. Should we consult with the group? Are it's, we consulting now? We're gonna consult now. Okay, we're consultation. Gonna, <laughs> okay, consultation. I've learned about feral people in in the national parks who who they're do, like wild people. They're wild people, and they there's cannibalism. Like people go missing in the in the national parks and like the national forests. Is and it like, made up? Is it real? I don't. Um, there's a documentary. I think it's called like Missing Four One One. I haven't watched it yet, but this is what I've seen on TikTok. I think you're spreading new fake news about or maybe real people news. People go missing and like. I mean, if there's a documentary about it, why I haven't watched it yet? Well, there's also a documentary. TikTok on the has people. really messed exactly. me up. Like, I don't feel. I feel funny. I was like, but there's, but I don't want to get eaten if I go to a national well, park. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get eaten. <laughs> I mean, I've I been mean, to many. I have a park pass. I'm still here. I also recently got a park. Well, it's actually a parking pass. It's actually <laughs> wait, it's a, a park- parking ticket. No, <laughs> it's actually like a parking pass to park. It's not actually. A park- <laughs> you're probably more likely to get struck by lightning twice. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Like by a feral look, person. Look. In the <laughs> We were laughing, but this is their lifestyle. This is how they live. I just feel like, isn't that a crime? Like you can't kill people. Oh, you're and right. Eat that them. is a crime. Like it's a fine if it's your lifestyle, but like you can't do that. You can't like a serial killer. Being a serial killer, if that's your lifestyle, that's still illegal. But why is it illegal? Like, yeah. Why? If you want to, if you want, no, if you want to <laughs> live in the woods, that's fine. But just don't eat other. Yeah. People. Like yeah. No. I mean, you know, people do that. You live off the grid. You hunt. Do you but, remember that? Yeah, uh, hunt Santa Clarita diet. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. I think there's a second episode. There's a second season. season. I watched it. Yeah. You already watched You're sickening. There <laughs> You're might disgusting. be three. I've watched all, if it comes out, I watch it. I just haven't seen the one about cannibalism in the woods. I wanted to watch the F1 documentary. Did you watch no. that? No. I want to watch that. Now that we are into racing and I'm, I'm into cars now. Yeah. I, yeah. I like cars. I like cars. Speaking of I cars. I want to go fast. Speaking of cars, I got my car back. I went from no cars to, I had an abundance of cars because thankfully Ford let us borrow 
They bought some of our two cars. They did. They're great. Yeah, the Lincoln Nautilus, which was incredible. And then we had the Mach-E for the weekend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Actually, with for a week. A week, an entire week. great. I was pushing nice. that whip. And then uh, the McLaren for the weekend, which was like, and this is like such a weird thing that I'm saying right now. Yeah. Like, when you think about it. It's weird. And then you gave me my car back and then now my car. So I haven't taken it on the highway, but the last time I took it on the highway, it wouldn't go above 55 and the RPMs wouldn't go above 3000. Mm. And it would just do this like, and I'm like trying to like gas that. it. And then I tried to switch lanes and I almost got hit. And then I'm like, well, I'm not going to go on the highway anymore. So I haven't been on the highway since. So I'm not sure if my car's broken. I just, every time I drive it, I'm like, please just work. You should take my car then tonight for the trip. So you take that. Well, how are you going to get there, Jess? I'm going to be walking, I think. Because okay, I was getting yeah. really into walking. There's, okay, yeah, um, so you'll walk and I'll take your car. On my Apple Watch, there's yeah. this new thing. It's called Time to Walk. So I can just listen to, oh my God, how long, let me see. How long? Walking to San Diego. How long will it take me to walk to San Diego? Probably take a little while. You should, you should go as as the crow flies. It's quicker. Yeah. Great. Well, I'll take your car, and okay. um, by the time I get there, you yeah. might get there a week later. Oh my god! I should leave now. It's going to take two days, forty five minutes. Okay. Well. <clears throat> so I'll probably get there by the time you're leaving. So maybe I'll just hit your ride back. Sure. Cool. I'm not sh- sure if that's a good plan. Anyway, guys, this is really strange episode. I should eat more protein bars before the pod. I think that. Um, anything we said, just don't take it seriously. We're not lizards yet. Well, We're not zombies. Speak for yourself, dude. Um, look at me. What we have, what, let's do it. Let's do a quick recap. Okay. Well, let's not. Our Postmates is here. We Our have to Postmates go. Our Postmates is here. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta take a thumbnail. I, just, I gotta eat. I just want to say I'm sorry <laughs> to anyone who may be offended I've, by me not liking children. My or, scales are starting. Or my sister becoming a lizard. <laughs> my scales are starting to get itchy. Everyone can agree on something, though. That's true. What's that? Best Buy is cool. Yeah, Best Buy is dude. cool. Yeah. <laughs> if we're just going to... Not sponsored. That's not sponsored. Best Buy is cool. And oh, I love them so much. Next episode, we'll be lizards. Maybe. Oh, my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be... I'm going to be a lizard tomorrow. Please don't... Weekend. Please don't leave any reviews based off of this episode. Unless I would ask you, you kindly... It. Unless you enjoy it. Unless you, you know enjoyed you it. But, like... How much water did I drink? Oh. How many, is that a liter? Overheating warning, Tyler said. Yeah. You know why? We've got to go back to the burrow. That, that hot gas. That's because I'm burrowing. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, or listening. Do what you want with that information. We will see you again next time on the Same Brain Podcast. Do what Bye. you want. What you want with that body. Do what you want. Bye. Bye.